Hello, this is Wolfgang, and welcome to my video about menstrual PMS pain, advanced guided meditation. So, uh, this video uh, deals with the effects of magic and astral technologies that ultimately cause us menstrual or PMS pain. This is a find the root cause and release as much as possible meditation. And if you are watching this, you are waking up and are asked that you will absorb whatever knowledge is for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes for you. So, in my opinion, the, in the menstrual pain that you are experiencing you are connecting to your own personal trauma from this and past lifetimes uh, so that you experience in the role of a woman and or the collective trauma of womanhood you know and uh, this is the time nowadays where the goddess energy awakens or has to awaken for a lot of very good reasons but then there is so much negative or false conditioning and trauma uh, perpetuated you know by local social and religious norms biases prejudice customs you know as we all very well aware of so and uh, that kind of stuff was dealt with in the previous video you know, and if you haven't watched that uh, one before, please do so, you know, because I'm not going back on that material and that is very basic and you should definitely do so before, you know, you go to this level here. Otherwise you have no proper foundation. Mm -hmm. So in this video we are going to clear dark magic as well as astral technologies that most likely have been used on us. Mm -hmm. So, because uh, besides uh, black magician and dark witches, we have Alpha Dokonians and Anunnakis with their uh, vampiric technologies as well as service to self ETs, you know, doing negative experiments on us. And, um, you know, there are a lot of things going on. And because we had male and female incarnation, it is very beneficial for men to do this guided meditation too. So before we go on to the guided meditation, I want to point out some principles that I found will support the success of any guided meditation. Um, so sit in a comfortable office chair and balance your body so that everything stacks up nicely. It's uh, very difficult to enjoy bliss when your back hurts or when you're slumping. Mm -hmm. And uh, use earbuds or headphones to cancel out outside distraction and also for better sound quality. Mm -hmm. And smile like an idiot <coughs> and reside in your heart. Uh, you will not have access to higher dimensions unless you vibrate at a certain love frequency and b breathe at a pace so that you can hear the air flowing through your nostrils like yeah. and uh, you do not have to repeat my affirmations just think or say amen uh, when you say amen but uh, you didn't mean it, you know, uh, just say ho oh, or yes, but, uh, you know, it is your intent, it is your life. And be in a childlike state of innocence during the guided meditation, you know, pay attention to what pops into your mind, but do not judge or try to rationalize at the moment, you know, you can always do that after the meditation, you know. And now, please gently uh, place your hands over your ovaries. And now, close your eyes. And we connect to Source. We open up to Source. Uh, you know, the Source of everything. Prime Creator. Nobody higher. Mm -hmm. 
and smile in a presence of greatness. And also connect to your highest self. And connect to your inner child, that playful aspect of you. And now open up to your spirit guides and to all the incarnations of yours that can help and support you. And also connect to the star tribes, you know, coming from unconditional love that you are incarnated on. And the higher dimensionals that are coming from unconditional love and that are supporting human ascension. You know, like, you know, your angels, the guardian angels, the guardians. And of course, you know, Gaia on the fifth dimension. And of course, the Milky Way galaxy. And we ask that there is no deception that everything works out for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes from this meditation on all timeline, dimensions, incarnation throughout space. And smile like an idiot and just connect with the earth. You know, you can extend gentle roots into her caressing her with your roots and allow her love to flow up into you through the spine, through your legs and thighs up into your heart you know, th th mainly through your spine to rising up into the head uh, and then let it just squirt out on top of the head And now you allow the love of the cosmos to spill down over and through your head, into your shoulders, your heart, through the arms, out the hands, through the legs, and deep into the feet and heels. And from there it flows into the earth. And you allow this cleansing of your body with these waves of loving chi flowing through and over you. And now, as you are bathing in this heavenly and earthly nectar, we ask source and Archangel Michael or anybody else who is qualified to do so, like Lok Shiva for those in the Hindu tradition, to remove as much as possible any Anunnaki, Draco, Grey or other predatory cords and devices and any other technology from every level of our being, any incarnation, all time or dimensions now for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. And amen, 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 amen. And just smile and observe the shift in your energy. Mm -hmm. And just keep smiling and enjoy it. And now with the increased energy flowing into you, Imagine that your heart is like a rosebud or a lotus bloom. And this earth love is just opens it up. And have it expand in your heart. And enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it. And now you connect like a column of light and invite as you head to the center of the earth, still smiling at her. And let this rise in you out the top of the head. And you connect that to the center of the Milky Way galaxy. Mm -hmm. And 
now it's like liquid light it starts flowing into you and it dissolves blobs blobs, blocks or clouds of darkness in your spine wherever it is needed so allow the liquid loving light into your heart now to dissolve any pain or darkness that you can detect. Smile like an idiot, because that's the dial for love. Now, we just keep this flow pattern going, but let the love flow from your heart through the arms, into your hands, through your hands into your ovaries and smile like an idiot ah. and tell them that you love them that you care for them and that is so sorry that there's so much pain there you feel so sorry about it and if you have to cry you know just let it rip express the pain even moan or, of course, not so loud that the SWAT team shows up, you know, or the neighbors get worried. Yeah, just, you know, just smile into them. It's like little kids that have been abused. You know, just smile and love. Just send love into the old race. Or maybe move your hand, you know, to where, wherever it hurts most. Like maybe the uterus, you know. And just smile into those organs in the, in that whole area. Where it hurts, you gotta smile and move. So now, if you asked for the presence of expert ascension teams. We invite them, volunteers, that act for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. You know, and to please arrange for the highest selves of any lost soul aspect, you know, um, that is around you that has, you know, these female traumas, you know, to ascend and all those that got attracted, you know, for the time being, for this session only though. To ascend the ghost as they're being invoked and bring them home to rejoin their soul, their high self, amen. And just nod your head in agreement without interrupting your awareness of love. To say again, you know, we asked for any ghost that will come from the past or whatever to be helped into heaven, that's all. You know, as long as it is for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. So we also ask for the presence of expert healing teams that act for the highest good in divine harmony and the most benevolent outcomes to please transmute any physical, astral, emotional, mental, spiritual trauma from any incarnation, time or dimension to healing energy and upgrade us to our divine blueprint as much as possible. Amen. And you just nod your head in agreement without your awareness of love and smile like an idiot smile like an idiot and reside in your heart and now we ask for the presence of our high self we tune into that and ask it to be pleased in front of us and we have it's his or her love flow into us. Ah. 
And let's start simple yes or no questions. And whatever pops into your mind, just, you know, take it as such. You can always later on, once you have an overview, you know, after the meditation, analyze it. Okay. So now, let's ask, you know, are we affected from love spells that were made in past incarnations as well as in this incarnations, yes or no? And did we affect others with love spells that we did or commissioned, yes or no? Okay, so we ask those that we affected negatively for forgiveness and we forgive those that affected us negatively and let divine justice deal with it. And we ask the highest healers to please clear this now. Amen, 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 amen. Throughout time, incarnations, dimensions and localities. Amen, 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 amen. I now ask whether you have suffered from ritual sexual abuse through black magic, yes or no? And also ask whether you have abused others through sexual ritual black magic, yes or no? And now you forgive those that abused you and just let Divine Justice take care of that and you ask for the forgiveness of those that abused you. Now, and ask for clearing of this abuse, the courts, the hooks that were put into you, the programs that were put into you throughout all time, incarnations, places and dimensions. Amen, 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 amen. I now ask whether you are negatively affected by black magic or negative high dimensional curses, vows, spells, implants, like implants like voodoo dolls, <laughs> you know, stuff like that, pokers, etc. Yes or no? And also ask whether you did this kind of stuff to other people in past incarnations, yes or no. And now we ask for forgiveness, the ones that we violated, and we forgive those that violated us. But we ask that this all be cleared, all this black, magic, all the implants, all the curses be cleared as much as possible throughout space, dimensions, incarnations and time. Amen, 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 amen. And now we go through a list of certain devices that have been used in magic but also are being used by the Draco or Anunnaki or other astral races that are service to self. And let's just ask, have you been affected by astral uterus or ovary removal and tearing up of the subtle bodies they are separating them and you know, and damaging them, damaging them, yes or no. Mm -hmm. And 
you like to take this case in front of higher spiritual justice and you like to have this cleared and any trauma removed throughout space dimensions, incarnations and realities. Amen, 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 amen. And of course we ask that our subtle bodies be put together and aligned again, so they work perfectly again. Amen, 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 amen. And now ask whether you are affected negatively by any cast or molds, you know, astral devices, subtle devices. Yes or no? And also ask whether you did this to other people too? Yes or no? And now we ask that this please be cleared, you know, f for both parties, you know, the karma, the damage, throughout time, dimensions, incarnations and realities. Amen, 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 amen. And now, ask whether you are affected by rings or clamps, you know, black magic devices that are there to hurt and control you, yes or no. And now ask whether you did the same thing to other people, yes or no. And again, ask for forgiveness, give forgiveness, and we ask for clearing clear this issue from all space, dimensions, incarnations and places. And now ask whether you're negatively affected by, you know, another variety of um, black magic devices, astral devices, like there are rods, there are needles, there is uh, glass, you know, there are eggs, you know, um, there's different words for different things. <laughs> and so, are you affected by those, yes or no? And did you put those things on other people in past lifetimes, affect others in past lifetimes, yes or no? And we asked for a clearing, we asked for forgiveness, give forgiveness, we asked for a clearing of the karma, of the effects, and for liberation and bringing home of, of all the ghost and soul fragment around those issues. Now ask, are you affected by any cords? that suck your life force, especially, you know, from your sacral chakra, from your first chakra and your throat chakra, yes or no? And ask whether you're also sucking life force from other people, yes or no? And we asked for healing of all these back and forth, um, stealing each other's life force, and he asked so that these be disconnected, those cords, and that those people be connected to their high self and grounded again, so that they don't have to steal energy from others, get their energy natural from source. Amen, amen, amen. And now ask whether you're negatively affected by any black magic plates that are placed in different parts of your being, yes or no? And did you do this to others too, yes or no? 
And he asks for clearing of this. If we have forgiveness, he asks for clearing and release of all the entities involved in this. Now, Amen, 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 Amen. And let's ask if there are more like spikes and screws and other devices, uh, locating devices, <laughs> so many type and type of implants. So, you know, that there are devices or methods that are not mentioned here, but that spirit now is so harmful and illegal and against our free will and we like to have them all removed on all dimensions, all timelines, all places. And any contracts where we got cheated and the wrong things got promised to us also are cancelled. You know, amen, 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 amen. Now we come to the realm of E.T. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we are all Star Wars fans, right? And so Princess Leia is there, the sex slave of an alien. <laughs> in Jabba the Hutt, so are we carrying trauma from being a sex slave of an alien? Yes or no? And if yes, did we do this also to others? You know, did we keep sex slaves ourselves? Maybe we have ET bodies too. And did we keep sex slaves ourselves? Yes or no? So we ask that any sex slaves please be released for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes basically liberated. And this all trauma please be cleared throughout all time, incarnations, places and localities. Amen. And ask whether we have karma or trauma from alien abductions for breeding programs and experiments. Maybe even sexual experiments, yes or no. And if yes, you know, we ask our higher self whether this was allowed and if not if it's an infringement and interfering with the ascension process here we cancel all those contracts that are supposedly being signed and ask those aliens to stay away throughout time dimensions incarnations and realities and we asked for clearing of those trauma. Amen, 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 amen. Especially any experiment trauma done to the uterus, reproductive organs, and umbilical cord. Amen, 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 amen. And even secondary, maybe the breast milk. Amen, amen, amen. And another far out one asks if you have carried trauma from the harvesting of sexual or reproductive uh, energies or like specimen, like eggs or semen, something like this. If yes, we ask that this trauma please be cleared. Amen, amen, amen. And now I will count to three and you will be back in vacant day consciousness. But first we thank all those beings that helped out. 
protected us and guided us in doing all this work of transmutation. So we thank all those beings and we ask that any portals or any other things should be closed. Please to close them or any energies that should be removed or any entities that should be removed by now, please be removed and cleared up. That any healing or empty spaces in our forest fields, please be filled with healing energies now. Amen. And I will count to three and you will be back at waking day consciousness with your subtle bodies fully aligned and you will be full of energy and you will feel great. One, two, three. Welcome back. And so I hope you enjoyed this meditation and you feel lighter. So this is just a one shotgun type meditation and it will probably not ascend all of your ghosts and transmute all of your traumas. You know, much of the time you will have to do these guided meditations just like you would regularly take pills or teas, but maybe just, you know, in this case, once a week. Mm -hmm. And the cleansing that you are going through will take its time. And for many of you, that will be a breakneck speed. <laughs> and enjoy the ride like you would enjoy a roller coaster, right? You know, go wee, not <coughs> right? And it's the same ride, you know, the same price, yet different memories. So, you know, instant fulfillment would just overload you and most likely would be quite traumatic, you know. So, there's also a lot of information density in this garden meditation. And so there's so much packed into this, you know, and your own spiritual guidance, you know, your own spiritual support team behind the curtain, you know, will adjust, of course, the impact, you know, it will have, you know, what is best for you. So do not worry, you know. And many of you, have issues that need to be looked at in greater detail, you know, before they can be released, you know. That is when a lesson or insight is needed, you know, before uh, the trauma can be transmuted, you know. You may put the meditation on pause and explore deeper, maybe use a pendulum, you know, or just ask for the highest and most accessible guidance, you know maybe through books, YouTube info, website, people, nature, dreams, or much more, you know, just, just be open, you know. Of course, you can also treat yourself to a private session and cut right to the chase, you know, my prices are very reasonable, you know, and just send me an email and, uh, you know, the info is in the credits. And uh, so if you respond well to this uh, meditation, uh, like it, uh, subscribe, ring the bell, tell all your friends, uh, give us some feedback, you know, uh, you know, it's good for other people to, to see what is going on, how others respond. And I love you. Namaste.